it's good for everybody here also to really step into the world of the people they try to, let's say, improve. Welcome to the Intelligent Enterprise Institute interview series here at Davos during the World Economic Forum. We are doing a series of conversations with business leaders and different agents of society. And today I'm very happy to have someone here from the music world. Roger, how are you today? Everything's fine, thank you. So you are a promoter of concerts, amongst other things. Can you tell me a bit more about your role, about what you do? Well, my role put very easily is that um, we organize concerts and at the end of the day, the only thing that counts is happy concert goers that walk out with a smile because they just experienced something hopefully unforgettable that makes the month or the year for them. And then I'm happy. So it's about experience and mood. It's uh, about emotions and feelings, mm -hmm. exactly. Yeah. Nice. And, uh, and what brings you here to Davos? So what are your expectations? Do you come with a mission? Well, my mission is just to really find out what the situation is when the WEF takes place here. And uh, it's a completely different atmosphere. And I was just really wondering what is new to me when I experience this. Okay, okay. So um, we are also here as Intelligence Enterprise Institute to um, raise awareness of the topic of intelligent choices. For us, an intelligent choice is something that is uh, rooted in insights. Uh, something that is built upon your personal commitment, but that also enables change in a wider uh, range. Um, on the topic of sustainability, and uh, as a, a personal commitment, and but also in your job, do you have any commitment that you have on sustainability? On sustainability, well, I would say that, first of all, sustainability, in my opinion, is uh, always a person's own choice. And I think if everybody uh, is a bit reflective on what he does in his life then that already helps a lot to make a better world so i'm i would be the last person to tell somebody else what to do but when it comes to sustainability in my own life it would really be like how many lights are on in my apartment does it have to be five can it be one how do i travel if i travel can i take people with me in my car so it's more worth using the gasoline is public transportation a better option to go traveling i think it's these daily small things that add up which is what i'm interested in when it comes to sustainability and uh, obviously um, in your professional life do you also have conscious decisions and intelligent choices that you make with that in mind well within the past two years as we all know life has changed a lot and obviously the question has also come up when it comes to traveling is it really necessary, for example, for the really big musical acts to travel with all their gear? And you know they're within Europe and they have twice, let's say, 80 trucks because they always have to move in two different productions. Is there a way to cut that down in size or is there a different way to just say we have material on site so this doesn't have to be flown throughout the entire world? These are definitely things we have to think about in the future. Okay. Maybe a new business model as well that you can address. It uh, could be. The, the a lot of questions with a lot of different options for solutions, I believe. Yeah. Okay. So being here at Davos and having a business audience uh, listening to us, would you have a key message that you'd like to give to the business audience from Davos and also from your heart? Okay. From my heart, I arrived here today just kind of observing people, which I generally like to do. Um, sometimes I'm not sure if what's happening here really is a bubble in a parallel world with people maybe also a bit disconnected from is really going on in the world. And I would just like maybe to give the message that it's, it's good for everybody here also to really step into the world of the people they try to, let's say, improve, to make this a better world. So it's, it's always important, I think, to stay close to the soil and to the actual, um, to the actual life. The collective action at the end of the day, right? So yeah, different yeah, uh, just practical life and not the theoretical life. I think it's important for people not to just go through um, education and come out with it out ever having been close to people and having really worked the job because that's not going to help the world. Okay, so let's try to make it happen. And I wish you a very successful week here. At Thank you very much and, and thanks for having me. And thanks for your time. Mm -hmm.